It's all they could do for what they truly believed in. What is it that you believe in? How do you know you really believe it? Whenever I feel like I have done enough or I feel sorry for myself because I've been asked to do more, I'll reach into my pocket and hopefully I will be reminded. that I have not yet given my all. I'm not saying that this event is the end all and be all. It is just my eight pennies. You need to find out. You need to find out what it is that's worthy of your last eight pennies. Back in a minute. At a Ramadan dinner Friday night, President Obama seemed to endorse the Ground Zero Mosque. Here's what he said. Muslims have the right to practice their religion as everyone else in this country. And that includes, that includes the right to build a place of worship in a community center on private property in lower Manhattan in accordance with local laws and ordinances. This is America. And our commitment to religious freedom must be unshakable. Those are prepared statements. Um, and who disagrees with what our Constitution says? I mean, if I had a nickel for every time I heard Barack Obama refer to the founding principles of this country and the constitutional foundation they laid, I'd have nearly a dime in my pocket right now. Of course, the other time was this time. That generally the Constitution is a charter of negative liberties says what the states can't do to you, says what the federal government can't do to you, but it doesn't say what the federal government or the state government must do on your behalf. Yeah, I mean, stop harping on it already. We get it. Now, some might say, say he took such a seemingly strong stance in favor of the mosque, maybe because he's friends with Bernadine Dorn and Bill Ayers, who support the flotilla movement. Maybe it was just, um, you know, the celebratory nature of the Ramadan festivities. Uh, uh, you know, with the Muslim dignitaries uh, that were there Friday, like Mr. Salam al Marayati of Muslim Public Affairs Council, who suggested on a radio show shortly after 9 11 that Israel be put on the suspect list. Then he later apologized. He has also said that uh, American Muslims strongly denounce terrorism, saying that it is contrary to the true Islamic beliefs. But see, then Americans hear something like this, and then you don't know who to believe. You can't say that uh, Islam is a religion of peace because Islam it does not mean peace. Islam is uh, it means it's the Islam submission. So the Muslim is the one who submits. You know, there's a place for violence in Islam. There's a place for jihad in Islam. You should see that whole interview. It is quite terrifying. Then when the imam of the proposed Ground Zero Mosque won't even uh, denounce Hamas as a terrorist organization, it's a little confusing to a lot of Americans. The president understood that. That's why on Saturday he came out and clarified with his let me be clear kind of clarity. We'll share that next. All right, Friday night, Ramadan dinner. The president seems to make a clear statement in favor of the Ground Zero Mosque here in New York. Saturday he cleared up the clarity. I was not commenting and I will not comment on the wisdom of making a decision. Uh, to put a mosque there. I was commenting very specifically on the right that people have uh, that dates back to our founding. Mm. You know, there's one thing that Barack Obama never, ever does, and that is comment on the wisdom of local issues. Well, I'm okay, except for the case in Cambridge when he said the police acted stupidly. Uh, and, and the Arizona law, which he said would lead to profiling and racism. Oh, and, and the important saga of where LeBron James should play basketball, but certainly it is super, super rare. There is no constitutional argument over whether Muslims have the right to practice their religion. That's ridiculous. It's America. We all have a right to follow God and build our houses of worship. All Americans are clear on that. And if they're not, those are the dummies. What is at issue is the wisdom of this mosque, in the place of this mosque, and with the imam of this, and the funding of this mosque. 
And what's at issue is a president who suddenly seems to be all about the founding principles of this great country, but in fact has denied those very principles on multiple occasions. We do not deny the people the right to worship the way they choose. But neither should it be denied that this country was founded on Judeo-Christian principles, period. And yet the president says this. Which passages of scripture should guide our public policy? Should we go with uh, Leviticus, which uh, suggests slavery is okay, and that eating uh, shellfish is an abomination? Or we could go uh, with uh, Deuteronomy, which suggests stoning your child if he strays from the faith? Or should we just stick to the Sermon on the Mount, a passage that is so radical that it's doubtful that our own Defense Department would survive its application? I wonder if in the future Barack Obama should refrain from commenting on the wisdom of Scripture and America's founding principles. A pretty incredible couple of weeks. Uh, later this week, <sighs> later this week, we are going to peel the layers back on the civil rights movement. And I'm going to get hammered for it because I'm going to show you stuff that you have never seen. Uh, for me, the working title of this uh, series has been The Good, the Bad, and the Ugly. Here's a few examples. The Good, the story of a rabbi who spoke out for integration and had his children's lives threatened, but he refused to stop preaching. It's an incredible story. The Bad, the story of a motel owner who threw acid in a pool and then had a swim in and invited black kids to come in and swim in his whites only pool. Have you ever heard that story? And the ugly, the politicalization of the movement that is going to turn everything you thought you knew upside down. I don't care, I don't care what side of the issue you were on or thought you were on or what you knew or thought you knew. Everything's going to be turned inside out. But that's a good thing. Think differently learn there's so much about america we have to learn america revealed civil rights it's a series this week get your friends and family and watch it this week when's it start tiffany wednesday starts wednesday all right now i want to show you something that's pretty amazing uh, this is a map of the united states this is at glenbeck.com now these are the buses that are coming to 828 these are just the empty buses we have over a thousand buses that are already coming. These are the buses that haven't been sold out. These are just people in their neighborhoods. It's like, I hired a bus. People are trying to find rides. You can find this at glenbeck.com um, and just click on one of these wherever you're looking. Many of them will just stop and pick you up along the way. It's almost uh, two weeks away. 827 at the Kennedy Center where Something amazing is going to happen. And then the next day at the stairs of the Lincoln Memorial, you don't want to miss it. One for the history books. We'll see you tomorrow night. From New York, good night, America.